Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to use H32P Pro and uh, really country by this Tuya application and how to use this input channel with your sensor uh, so that can travel for the automation by the Tuya mobile phone application. Okay, let's look at the first thing. We can use this Tuya application uh, very easily. You can control this relay and turn on and turn off. So you can see that we can turn on and turn off this relay that is for this output channel so you can see I can easily to turn on all relay and turn off all relay so that will be very easy that is used by this mobile phone remote country by the internet but this time we will look at how to use this input channel so that you can use any dry contact sensor so you can see here the two application just click the setting that have six input channel we can use this mobile phone remote monitor the sensor state so you can see uh, we need to know this pin define so if you don't know what this pin means so you can open the kinkoni website that is kinkoni.com then you can click and the service and the online guide user guide online and just click H32P Pro so we can see the diagram of the hardware so you can see here you can see we can let it large that pin the 1, 2, 3 is for S485 this G that is ground so this is ground the third pin is ground and this also is ground because uh, this this power voltage and this is negative, that is ground. These two ground is connected together with the PCB. So you can see this is digital input one, that is digital input one. So you can see uh, this digital input one, that is one. This is one. And this is two, channel two in digital input, and this is channel two. And this is channel six, so that this is channel six. So we just let this different channel and the short with ground that will triangle the input. So we can see I I can use this one cable because that is because that is dry contact. So that you can see I can connect with it. That is ground. So I can fixed by this screw this is number 3 and this number 3 you can see that is ground and this is number 3 so now you can see I can shut with channel 1 so you can see if I shut with this channel 1 and the mobile phone that is, you can see the green I release and that is recover so you can see here the channel 2 as it is input 2 have been on and release is off so I can until test the channel 6 you can see the channel 6 is on so when released that is off so this web page you can monitor remote monitor even if, even if you use full Wi-Fi or use 4G you can monitor the sensor state, maybe you can connect with the door sensor, smoking sensor, motion sensor, any dry contact sensor. So this can monitor the state. Now I will show you how to let this input, different input, trigger different relay output. So that can make automation. So you can see, we can set by the two application that have a sense mode. This have a sense mode. You can create a things and there are many different ways to triangle this relay. Uh, this is by the weather forecaster, uh, different temperature, humidity, weather, and you can turn on relay and turn off relay. This is by the weather changes. And uh, here you can see that is by your location. So that you need to use a mobile phone for the GPS. So you can see if you arrive at home, maybe you drive your car at home. So you, just, you can set the position and the, on the Google map. 
and where you have arrived at here that have the distance you can change it change it the distance large or small with this range you arrived in this range you can turn on relay or turn off relay or maybe you can try go some things mode so this is by the location and we can and this is leave the location this is arrive at location and this is by the schedule just just you can set the time every day or every week uh, which time what time will be triangle the relay so now we can uh, show you how to use the input state so we just use this input and triangle this relay output so you can click and if I want to actually to be pro the input one and become on so that if H32B Pro input one is on so that then that is command just at the test you can see at the test run the device we can run the device let relay one is on so I can choose the device and switch one relay one just switch one let switch one on this is on this is off this is reverse just on become off off become on that is this reverse switch so I can save and next and the press save and uh, starting use it just enable it so you can see that I have quite in automation enabled just this if and then command so you can see now I can let this this cable shot with input one and I also enter the H32 B Pro to see the relay one state and this will show the relay one LD so you can see I can shot for input one you can see the relay one is on you can see here the relay one is on the relay one is on uh, this is the feedback the state to the two application and if you want the channel two digital input channel two let the relay is off so we can create another things mode just for the automation so you can just create one device H32B Pro and the input two this input two and become on and task that is run the device H32B Pro relay one switch one is off so save and next and you can also add some different relays such as relay 1 on and relay 2 off and relay 3 talking we press the C and enable it right now so you can see uh, this is for new automation we have created this test and this is for on and this is for off so you can see I can go to this web page the real one is on so you can see I shot for input 2 and you can see here the relay 1 is off so you can use this to your application this things mode that is very powerful you can create this automation command which input and triangle which output by this mobile phone so you just need the, the controller need the internet it, it will be work fine okay this is how to use this input and uh, some different way to change this output automatically okay thanks for watching